In this video, we'll look at how to get started using the DevExpress Blazor file input component. Both DevExpress Blazor DX file input and DX upload components allow you to handle file upload. The main difference is that the file input allows you to access and process file contents directly in Razor code, whereas the upload component packs file contents into AJAX requests and sends them to the controller where the file is processed. I've already created a Blazor application that's configured to use DevExpress components. The Blazor file input does not support static render mode, so I enable interactivity on this page. I add a DX file input component to the markup. The component does not upload selected files automatically. Instead, it raises the file's uploading event each time an upload operation begins. I handle this event and use its arguments to access the selected file. Then I call the open read stream method to read file content. For demonstration purposes, I read the content directly into memory. Do not use this approach in real applications to avoid performance and security related issues. Let's run the app and see the result. I press the select file button and choose a file. Once chosen, the component starts uploading file content. Now I'm going to implement file validation. First, I specify allowed file extensions and max file size properties to validate file extension and size on the client. Next, I revalidate size and extension in the file's uploading event handler. To introduce secure file upload operations, we recommend that you add different validation types to the event handler. For example, validate file size and extension, validate file name, name length, and allowed characters. If using a real file system, check whether the file is within the expected root directory. Refer to the links in the video description for more validation best practices. Now let's see how validation works. As you can see, validation fails if I try to upload a docx file or a file larger than four megabytes. Let's allow users to upload multiple files at once. For this purpose, I enable the allow multi-file upload property and set the max file count property to three. I also use the select button text property to change text of the select file button. Now the component allows users to upload up to three files at once. Users can cancel file upload in the UI. To hide cancel buttons, I set the allow cancel property to false. DX file input raises the file's uploading event once a user selects one or more files. I set the upload mode property to on button click to start upload operations after the user clicks an upload button. I can click an individual file's upload button to upload this file, or click the common button to upload all files. I cannot cancel upload operations because cancel buttons are hidden. Once a file is added or removed from the file list, the component raises the selected files changed event. In the event handler, I display a toast that notifies users about file list changes. I use our Blazor Toast notification service for this purpose. The event argument contains upload file info objects that store information about selected files. Using these objects, you can manage selected files in code. For instance, pass such an object to the file inputs upload file method to start the upload operation, or call the remove files method to remove specified files from the list. Now, toast notifications appear each time I add or remove files. Let's enable drag and drop in the file input component. I create an external zone and assign its ID to external drop zone CSS selector and external select button CSS selector properties. As a result, users can drop a file to this zone or click it to select a file. I use the external drop zone drag over CSS class property to change the zone border appearance once a user drags a file over it. I add all necessary CSS rules to the index.razor.css file. Let's see the result. After I drop a file to the external drop zone, the component starts an upload operation. Now I'm going to display an uploaded image directly on the web page. I add the HTML image tag to the page. 
This tag appears and displays the loaded image once an upload operation is completed. I update the files uploading event handler so that it writes file content into a variable. As the read async method may read fewer bytes than the file size, I call it within the while loop. Next, I disable the visible property to hide the component, specify allowed file extensions, limit max file size, and run the app. As you can see, the drop zone displays the uploaded image. In case of large images, upload operations can take a while. I add a DX progress bar component to indicate the current upload process. The progress bar value changes once the file input uploads a new part of the file content. Now the progress bar displays the upload progress. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified anytime we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.